So what's going on YouTube? Don here from Nova Spirit. Um, today we're going to be covering a fresh install of Windows 10 using a USB drive that we're going to create. So let's get started. We're going to be doing a fresh install of Windows 10 and um, I'm going to be using a EFI USB boot method. Now you could actually download the ISO from Windows uh, Microsoft website itself and I'm gonna leave a link in the descriptions below I'm gonna be downloading this uh, you know the tool which will allow you to download the ISO and from here what I'm you can actually use this program to upgrade your PC if you're planning to upgrade and I'll actually show you a clip because I upgraded another computer and I um, recorded that I'll show you that in a little bit but for this instance we're gonna be downloading the uh, creating installation media for another PC Hit next on that select the language the version and I just downloaded Pro and the architecture which is 64-bit next you want to download the ISO file you could use this method to um, directly flash onto USB but I rather have the physical file stored somewhere so whenever I need to create another disk or something like that I could always just pull the file from my server so I'm gonna hit ISO hit next find the location where to save it hit save and from there it's just gonna start downloading and then it's gonna um, perform a check just to make sure the files okay okay uh, to create the USB next we're gonna need the um, it's a program called Rufus and I'm gonna leave the link in the descriptions below uh, this program will allow us to actually create the EFI boot method and allow it so we could install Windows 10 using EFI. Um, first option is choose the USB disk that you're going to be using. I'm using a 16 gig USB disk. Uh, select GPT partition scheme for UEFI. Uh, FAT32 is a must, so you have to leave it at FAT32 or it's not going to boot in uh, UEFI version. And uh, the default uh, bytes rate for your USB. Uh, name it. Uh, you can name it Windows 10 and uh, here you get to choose the ISO image so locate the location that you downloaded the Windows image from select that and it's ready to start now I already created a disk because it takes a long time just to put it in uh, maybe half an hour or so just for it to load all the files into uh, the USB so um, I already created I'm gonna skip forward and start installing Here we're going into the BIOS just to make sure that our boot device is going to go into the USB and if you had to change any settings for your UEFI to boot that's where you would have to do it. Um, some Windows 8 computers already have a preset. If you have a Windows 7 you might have to go in there and look for the options on how to enable UEFI and that's um, you're going to have to consult your manual for that because every motherboard is different. Now here I'm just speeding through the installation. Uh, I'm not putting in the serial number. You can just skip this step and you can put it in later. Now, if you forgot your serial number, you don't even have it, I'll give you a code and I'll leave it in the descriptions below on how to retrieve it. Over here, I'm just deleting the partitions on my hard drive. And yes, this will delete everything in your hard drive. So uh, back up everything before you do this. That That's my disclaimer to you. I'm speeding up this video by like 500 times because you don't want to see a five hour video of Windows 10 installing so I'm gonna put a little clip of what I was talking about before on upgrading so upgrading was just a part of downloading that tool hitting next hitting upgrade and a couple of next buttons and then it's just gonna automatically download everything and install Windows 10 on top of your operating system so pretty much it All right, so here um, we're just gonna let Windows go through its process of installing, setting up drivers and stuff like that. And uh, Windows 10 is actually pretty damn fast, especially if you got a low end machine. Um, it, it, it makes it work really well. Now, it's specifically designed for like tablets and 
lower end hardware like ARM and stuff like that. So a lot of the instructions and a lot of the coding is devoted to speeding up lower end hardware. So if you have an old laptop and you throw in like Windows 8 or Windows 10, you will notice a significant boost in speed because it's specifically really designed for that. And if you had a newer computer slapping in Windows 10 or Windows 8, it will make it run faster. You're probably going to get better FPS, your, your videos will play better. And I had that experience from using an old laptop and I tried it out installing Windows 10 and that thing just blew my mind how fast it, what the difference was. Um, as far as this part goes, I'm gonna skip the serial number again. It's gonna come up in a second. So there we have it, a freshly installed Windows 10 operating system. Um, it's pretty cool. They added a lot of stuff that uh, works, like these desktop apps, apps that used to be on Windows 8, now they actually put a win put it into a window, so it's not as stupid as what it was before. I never used it because it was a desktop mode. I mean, I get it for tablet mode, I mean for tablets, but yeah, we didn't need it for desktops. Um, they gave you the start menu back with all the apps and I only installed one application so far and drivers and stuff but um, one application which is um, open broadcast software just so I could uh, stream the desktop. Uh, Cortana is pretty cool you can ask Cortana almost anything supposedly and using the mic you should, you should actually be able to speak to it and it should actually act like Siri. Um, yeah that's pretty cool. Let's see if that works. No. Oh, and um, Edge. Edge is their new Microsoft browser that they got rid of Internet Explorer completely and they're going forward with Edge. So far, this is pretty quick, but I found a little problems here and there. Like, um, I was actually downloading something before. So, open broadcaster software. And look at that, it doesn't even search the software for me. I have to go over down here. And when I want to download something, you actually cannot select the download location from where you download it. And there's no save as link, which I thought that was really stupid. I, I mean, there's still bugs here, they're still tweaking it. I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that's still being implemented. So, um, again, new browser, a lot of things still hasn't added up. And uh, little things here and there that they haven't added, like save ads. Come on now, get your act together. Um, another thing is they got rid of the edging, which is amazing because that was driving me nuts when I was using Windows 8. Every time when I would, I have three monitors. So every time I just go to the edge bar to swipe to another screen, I would get caught on the edging. It's terrible. Another thing that they added was um, the corner features which is pretty cool. Um, I think they have um, some new features where if you add multiple windows, something like this, and if you edge it, you should be able to select the next edging program that you want, which is really cool. Um, that's pretty smart. They now have this, um, Tiling what Mac users used to. I forgot what they call it in Mac, but um, they tile the windows like this. I think it's called Launchpad or something. And uh, another cool feature is now you can actually do virtual desktops like you would in uh, Linux. 
which is very useful if you got a small monitor or one monitor and you need to switch between um, most both desktop scenes. Other than that, um, so far, um, I'm going to be testing it for a couple of weeks and I'll report back later on. So we'll wait for that video, huh? There we have it, a fresh install of Windows 10 using the USB. Um, it wasn't too hard. Um, the install process was streamlined. Barely had to click anything and it just went through the whole install. Uh, I don't have much to say about it because I haven't been using it much. I used the beta, but I know that Windows 10, the release view, uh, version, they added Edge, they added uh, Cortana, they added a few more stuff in there. So I wanna actually get the full experience before I report back and give you my thoughts about it. Now, uh, I am uploading another video in a couple of days and I am gonna be doing a giveaway on that video. So if you enjoyed this video, go watch my other videos. And if you don't want to miss anything that's upcoming, hit that little subscribe button. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post a link right here.